Hey crafty friends, this is Nye here. Today what we are going to do is we're going to follow along with our tutorial that we did yesterday with the Scarecrow face soap bottles. And today we're actually gonna go ahead and make some for Halloween. So as you can see here, I've got my bottles. I've already gone ahead and I have removed my labels. Um, I use a little bit of Goo Gone on it just to get rid of any of the sticky residue. And then I just kind of wiped them clean with a paper towel. And so they are ready. I've already gone ahead and I've cut out all of my um, faces on my colored vinyl. I've cut out my soap quotes too. I've got my art glitter glue that I will be using to glue my quotes together. And I've got some fun themed ribbon here that I'm going to wrap around at the end. So let's get started. Um, what I'm going to do first here is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to start weeding away the excess vinyl. Now, if you remember, what you want to do when you're weeding is just kind of make sure that you're taking your time and that you're not ripping up any extra or any of the pieces of the vinyl that are meant to be um, part of the face here. And so sometimes this is a little tricky for me because I'm trying to make sure that I keep my head out of the camera as I'm doing this. And so I've got this little one part here with the eye. So I'm just gonna pick that one up too. And so this will be my ghost face. So I'm gonna put this one there. And then this one here will be my pumpkin, my jack-o'-lantern face. And so again, as you go to do it, just make sure that if you need to, just push it down on the, um, outer part of where you are peeling away the vinyl, just to make sure that you're not ripping it and that you won't lose any of the different pieces here. And so I'm just gonna go that way and that takes care of that one. And then these are the glasses. I just thought it was a fun little design um, for the pumpkin here. Let me just grab the inside part and that finishes these two. And then, so now I've got, I'm gonna cut this part down just a little bit more because this part's only the nose and I can probably still use this for something else. I'm all about the scraps there. <laughs> you gotta save them, right? Okay, so that's the nose. This is the back part of the eyes. Now I kind of cheated I probably should have made some registration marks here for the eyes because I think this part's gonna be a little tricky to get these lined up behind the back of my monster face here. But <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and wing it and you know, um, give it a go. If you want to make the registration marks, um, I would encourage you to go ahead and watch the video for the scarecrow face. Um, I used the registration marks for that soap bottle there. And so you'll see how to create the registration marks in that video. So you can see these eyebrows are a little tricky and I think I've got it now. So let me just get this piece here. And I just seem to have to push all of these down. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure why my vinyl is working like this, but you know, it's okay. It's just part of the process. All right, so here's the mouth. And we're almost there. Let me just make sure I get this little piece there. And that looks good. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I didn't pull anything away accidentally. I'm going to hang on to this right here as I grab these little tiny pieces and then I'm just sticking it right on top of the back of the vinyl here and just these two more to go and then the last one there and we're good okay so now the reason why we have these um, these, this white part here with the eyes is just because when we go to put it on this green bottle, if you don't have the white of the eyes, then the green of the soap is gonna show through. And that's gonna be a personal choice. Um, if you want it to show through, go right ahead. You know, that's okay. <laughs> All right, so I've got my transfer tape here. I'm just gonna peel it up. 
I'm gonna do just a little bit and I'm actually going to, I'm gonna peel up my nose here first. So I'm just gonna put a little bit down, press it right there and then just peel it back. And then I'm going to just eyeball it right where I want it to go. Right there looks pretty good. And so I'm just gonna press all of these pieces down here. And I'm gonna use my scraper as well. Just pressing everything down. And then I'm gonna flip it over, peel this away. And now I'm going to do the back part of these eyes. And again, like I said, I don't have the registration marks for this one. So I'm really going to do my best just to eyeball these right up here. And I might have to do one at a time because I'm on an angle. And that one looks pretty good and I don't want anything to stick. That looks pretty good too. So I'm just gonna lift it up and press it like this. And then I'm gonna peel it back here. It's a little off, but for the most part, I got it. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna line it up right here on my bottle. And as you can see, these two part, the knobs here, they're gonna be a little bit off on the side and on the curb, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go right about there, pressing it down in the center, and then I'm just going to press it out. Just making sure that I'm getting everywhere with the vinyl. And then I'm scraping it down to make sure it's adhered. And that looks pretty good. And now I'm just gonna peel it off. And this will be my monster soap bottle. And how fun, right? I already love it. <laughs> okay, so because I still have my transfer tape here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my ghost face next because this one is just all of this black here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, press this down. I'm reusing my tape. I'm just gonna be a little bit um, more resourceful here um, so I don't have to waste all of my transfer tape. And so again, I'm just scraping this down to make sure it's adhered. I'm gonna get my white soap bottle ready and then I'm gonna lift it up here. I'm going to flip it over and then peel it back one more time. Put that off to the side. And then again, what I'm going to do is, whoops, I'm gonna push this up, make sure I'm not coming off my camera here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of line it up. And then again, pressing it down in the center and then just pushing out the transfer tape on the sides using my scraper one more time to just make sure everything is adhered. And then I'm gonna peel it back. And here's my ghost face. I'm loving it. It's perfect, yay. <laughs> okay, and so one more with my jack-o'-lantern here. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do my glasses first. So again, I'm going to stick with my same transfer tape here. I'm just pressing it down. I'm gonna use my scraper again one more time just to make sure I've got it all down. And I'm going to peel it back as well. And then I'm going to line these glasses up right over the eyes. And that looks really good. I'm gonna be really careful because I think I'm a little bit off on my paper right there. And again, I'm just going to scrape this down, but I'm not gonna do right here because I can already see it. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's off there. And I don't want it to stick to my table. So I'm just scraping this down. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna scrape it on this side too. And then only because I've started reusing my transfer tape and I wanna make sure it sticks, which it did. 
And then I'm going to place this one down. Again, just kind of eyeballing it into the center there of where I had measured. And then I'm pressing it down in the center and then I'm just going to smooth it out with my hands right to the edges to make sure everything is good. Using my scraper one more time. And then we're just gonna peel it back. And so there we go. These are so fun, right? So we've just created some fun Halloween soaps. And what I'm gonna do next now is I'm going to stick with my soap tags here. So I'm gonna use my art glitter glue to glue these down. So I'm just adding a little bit of the glue to the back. I'm gonna line up the holes, or the hole I should say, right on top of each other and then press it down. And remember too, when you're gluing these, you've got the five seconds before the glue really bonds and <laughs> then you're stuck in the one position. <laughs> so the next one here, same thing. This one will go for my jack-o'-lantern face. And so each one of these has just a fun, cute little quote on it <laughs> that kind of goes with the bottle in the face that we created. So a little bit of glue again, and then just lining up the holes here. Okay. All right, so let me cap my glue, and then we're ready to do the ribbon. Okay, so let's start here with our ghost one first. So I've got my colored ribbon. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a good bit here so I'm going to make a bow and this is probably going to be, ooh, let's see, probably about 18 inches here. Then I'm going to take it and just kind of wrap it here around the edge. And so this one doesn't have um, kind of like a, a lip underneath here to for the ribbon to sit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of wrap it a couple times right here. I'm going to make sure that it's kind of tight. Let's see, I'm gonna make sure that I've got it even too. And I'm actually gonna start this way. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are like, what is she doing? Oh, crafting on the fly. <laughs> All right, so that looks good. I'm going to take this one here, hold on to it tight so you don't lose the tautness there. And I'm gonna just fish it right through on this one right here. And this might be one where if yours doesn't have a lip to kind of hook it underneath, you might wanna take some hot glue and just kind of glue your ribbon down. Personal choice though. I might end up going back and doing that because I don't have my glue gun turned on at this moment. But I'm just going to make it nice and tight and then I'm going to create my bow. And almost there. And then just kind of fix your bow to make sure that it looks pretty. I'm always very particular about my bows. I like them a certain way. And that looks pretty good right there. And then once you have the bow the way you like it, if you want, you could go ahead and trim those ends on an angle. And it just adds another fun look right there. So that's my ghost one. I'm gonna do the same thing here with my monster. Oh, I forgot to open this one here. You don't want to spend the time during the video to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to be a little rough. <laughs> All right. And so again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut about 18 inches one more time. And then let me cut this one off here. It's stuck with the tape. So I'm just going to snip it, make it easy. And then same thing as I did with the ghost. This one has a little bit of a, a lip underneath. So 
that makes it a little easy and it will kind of keep the ribbon in position for me. And so again, I'm just going to fish it right through. Kind of put it off to the side here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make my knot then create my bow. And that one came out really large, so I'm just gonna pull this down here, pull this one there a little bit, and then tighten it one more time. And there we go, and then I'm just gonna trim it again. And just to kind of get some of those Get the ribbon a little bit shorter. That one didn't get as nice on an angle. There we go, that's better. And so there, there's our monster face one. And now for our jack-o'-lantern, I've got again this fun um, ribbon here that's this orange and black plaid. And I'm going to take again another 18 inches and then wrap it underneath. Fish it through. So depending on the width of your ribbon, you may need to kind of fold it just like how I'm doing with this one in order for it to go right through. Pushing it off to the side there. And then I'm gonna make my bow. Well, first my knot and then my bow. Just trying to get this part through. Make it nice and tight and then the bow. Oh, I think I'm really liking this one. I think I like the um, using the larger ribbon. That adds definitely something there. Okay. And then once more, I'm just gonna trim these ends here just a bit. Stuck to my finger. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's very similar to the Scarecrow face soap bottles but this one's for Halloween. And so be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and happy crafting.